I played this game in part 1 and I loved it, and it seems you guys loved it as well, but I only played a bit of the game, basically getting 3 trophies, and there are a lot more. So in this video I tried to complete the game 100%, starting with getting some Halloween update characters and continuing in the story. This one sucks, I hate these butterflies with all my life. Also, you might have seen this short on my channel. Under three minutes for cheaper. And for any space. Bro, purple guy is easy, and same for the Halloween rabbit. But coffee? So stupid and so RNG too. Why the fuck did this shit go there? Anyway, now I have the entire thing out, actually, okay. We'll get that one later. I want to progress in this stupid maze filled with overpowered characters. And I found this guy right here, and uh, I thought I need to fight. Surprise! Yeah, did you really think I'd let a moron like you reach the end of the game? Shit! You stupid, idiotic moron! Now, if you'll excuse me, I need a few minutes to charge my rainbow cannon. Yeah, after that, it'll be game over. So sit back and prepare to get wrecked. This boss is the bane of my existence, like every other thing in the Halloween update. It's got so much health, actually I had to come up with a strategy. Because, so, because his attacks are dead, uh, no gift boxes and only damage. Also, Fredal Fury because it kills the mini rainbows. Uh, and as early into the fight as I could, we'll need Mega Virus. Because it does overtime damage and bubble breath, not uh, to, you know, die. Also, those will need to be renewed at about 100 seconds left. Other than that, we just need to pray.
And next time you see a rainbow in the sky, that is me coming to your house! The show will begin momentarily. Everyone, please stay in your seats. So after Hearts, I went to defeat Chippa. Okay, now taking a break from the main run, I wanted to do one uh, that I couldn't because I missed it. So I created another run on hard mode. Played through the game normally and farmed characters in Primal Farmhouse until I got Fredbear. Next Fredbear talk, I keep Fredbear as party leader and... Nice. And to continue, I went in the last sub-tunnel, and even though Fredbear tells you not to go more than 3 glitches down, I didn't listen to him, and I got to spend some valuable time with good old man. Was it nice to take a break from the main run? Well, now we are back trying to get one. For that, we need to finish Freddy in space with zero upgrades. A life-saving glitch I found was to spam fire button because uh, it's faster. I had no clue of that when I started grinding, but anyway, with enough attempts,
And now there is only one character left, Frank Boy, the rarest character. I'm not gonna lie, I think I spent about 3 hours grinding to get this character. When the a new challenger appeared, that was the most satisfying thing of my entire life. Anyway, the trophy for getting all characters is a fan, and Scott does really well to hand that to the player. You should have seen me sweating in fighting space, I really needed that. Anyway, now it's finally time for the true ending of the game, I guess. If you stare at Fredbear for too long, he starts telling you all those things about clocks and how the puppet master is making you do this shit and laughing at you. I don't know, I tried doing it legit on adventure mode, I did everything perfect and then I didn't get it. So because I was annoyed that after 3 hours of work I didn't get it, I did it on fixed party and that time it worked. I know, kind of disappointing with the last one, but I don't know. I got all the trophies, and with that I can finally say I completed the game 100%. Really nice challenge to get all the trophies, I really recommend it if you don't have anything to do with your life and other than grinding characters, hours on end, breaking your monitor in Chica's Rainbow Land and killing your ex-key in Friday space. Thanks for watching, see you next time.